yesterday, the judge found um, found uh, Lake and Riley's murderer guilty on all charges. Now listen to this, but I want you to listen to this uh, and notice your reaction to it. Maybe maybe it's just me. I don't know, but listen to this and notice your reaction to it. Go ahead. Count one, malice murder. I find the defendant guilty. Count two, felony murder. I find the defendant guilty. Count three, felony murder. I find the defendant guilty. Count four, felony murder. I find the defendant guilty. Count five, kidnapping with bodily injury. I find the defendant guilty. Count six, aggravated assault with intent to rape. I find the defendant guilty. Count seven, aggravated battery. I find the defendant guilty. Count eight, obstructing or hindering a 911 call. I find the defendant guilty. Count nine, tampering with evidence. I find the defendant guilty. Count 10, peeping Tom, I find the defendant guilty. What are you feeling? Could just be me. What are you feeling? Um, what am I feeling? Am I hearing that? I, I, I mean, I'm, I'm happy that justice is uh, at some level hitting this guy, mm-hmm. but I'm more just anger of how n- unnecessary it all was. You know, the, the fact that, you know, he got he got on a free flight to go to the to Georgia in the first place. No, yeah, no. The Biden it's administration put him on one of those ghost flights in the middle of the night so he could live in Georgia. Yeah. And it cost this poor woman her life. And, uh, you know, she's just one prominent example. This story has been told way too many times. Here's what I feel. First, emotional, because you can hear the parents gasp and cry Mm -hmm. in the back. And happy for them, sad at the waist. But also, we're not going to take it anymore. Justice is back. That makes me feel good. All this bull crap of, oh, these poor immigrants that have come in, uh, they're not all bad. This guy was in the Venezuelan gang and so was his brother. And you know how he tried to get off? He tried to get off saying, it was my brother, not me. And his brother was like, no, it it wasn't me. It was my brother. It was basically a version of the OJ defense. Yes. DNA can't really tell between me and my brother. My brother, yeah, Mm -hmm. right. And the reason why they had DNA is because it was under her fingernails as she screamed scraped his Ugh. arms, his face, and his back. And they had pictures of the claw marks that she left on him. So uh, justice is served. Now, here's the other thing. He's not going to get the death penalty. Maybe life in prison, no chance of parole. But I don't even trust that stuff. He's not going to get the death penalty. Why? Because the prosecutor which was a Soros prosecutor, said that's not real justice. Now, they're talking about uh, reversing that, this new prosecutor, because I don't know if you know this, that prosecutor lost, I think, by 17 points. Mm. It's over. It's over. Now, there are some states now that are saying, you know what, this drives me out of my mind. These people are so lacking of any kind of principles. They change with the wind. There are no principles. Just a few, what, a month ago, two months ago, all of the cities, all of the people in the cities from San Francisco to New York were saying, this is going to collapse our city. We can't handle all of these people that have come across the borders. We're, they were sending them to Texas. New York was taking people and sending them from New York to Texas because they just couldn't handle it like Texas could, okay? Now they're all, they've all changed overnight now. Oh, we're going to protect these people. How dare the big bad government come in and try to take, we're just going to cuddle these people. 
It's over, gang. It's over. And I hope that the president finds the constitutionally legal way to cut you off from every funding. You want to play that game? Fine. Then your city doesn't get any federal dollars. You want to do that? That's fine. Because you're costing all of us. You're costing us money because you're going to ask for a federal bailout. And the other part of that should be you're not getting one. California, you want to play this game? We're not going to pay for it. I love California. I think California is the most beautiful state in the, uh, in the union. I've always, since a kid, I've always wanted to live in California. The reason why I don't is because they're insane. They're insane. I don't want to live with the insanity, and I know that I'll be impoverished in the end by it, and so will all of my neighbors. I don't want to live in that. So I don't live in California because you want your California. I live in Texas because I would like to be have California more like Texas, but it's not. So I live in Texas because I know the state won't impoverish me. I know the state won't take all of my rights away from me. I know they won't coddle criminals. So I live in Texas. Don't you dare come for a handout from me. You made your bed. You pay for it. And if you want to keep criminals in your state, if you want to coddle those people, that's totally fine with me. But I honestly believe maybe we should check your passports when you come across the border of California or New York. Are you here legally? Because if they leave those states, they should be arrested and deported. And I don't want any of them moving into my city or my state. But they're going to eventually, and your people eventually are going to move to my state, and they're going to vote for the same damn things because they're too stupid to understand what caused their state to become like that. I got to get to Florida. Why are there no progressives we can vote for? Because you haven't wrecked it yet. I think, too, and I know you say this, um, you know, you want to deal with these people, fine. In reality, of course, I know. We have to. It is a a, a federal issue. I mean, this is the left that prevented states like Arizona from implementing and enforcing immigration law because this has to be done at the federal level. Well, hopefully Trump's about to show you what that looks like. Yep. And it should be done at the federal level. uh, So he will, I think, overrule and overrun some of these p- people who are trying to uh, avoid the law in their local jurisdictions. And he should do that. You know, Glenn, one of the most frustrating things about the Lake and Riley thing is we talk about the borders being open, mm-hmm. people flowing over all the time. And that is, uh, is awful. And, and obviously the border at times can be difficult to, 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 to protect completely. People are going to get across it at some level. But we caught this guy. This isn't an example of a guy sneaking across the border. We caught him and then, put and then him on released a him into the country. He got arrested multiple more times while he was here. Yep. We still gave him a free flight. We still put him up in the Roosevelt Hotel with free lodging. And then we sent him to Georgia with a free flight. He got arrested there with his brother. We still kept releasing him. And then after all of that... He murdered this poor woman. It's it's not even a case where like, okay, this is difficult. I get that. That can happen. This I mean, one's not. This is not what that is. No, and it this happens one's not. over and over and over again. And God, if we could just stop some of those. Yeah. Talking about standing up, maybe we could at least stop some of those. We're, we are going to. We are going to. That's what we voted for. Mm-hmm. We voted for an end of all of this. By the way, have you heard that the DOJ has just put a, a paper shredder truck outside of the FBI office? I swear to you, if they shred anything that we need and they're like, we lost it, we shredded it, we don't know what happened to it, put them in jail. Don't fire them, put them in jail. It is time that we say it to this government, enough is enough. We're going to live by the laws of the land. And that includes all of this red tape bullcrap. 
All of it. You want that law? Pass it through Congress. Not through some bureaucrat that we don't even know who they are. We never voted for them. Why do they rule over our life? By the way, the House Ethics Committee has decided not to release the Gates investigation. Okay, at least temporarily. They're not sure because it's not finished. Now, the DOJ finished it over two years ago. Okay, this has got to stop. I don't know if Matt Gates is guilty or innocent of what they accuse him of. I have no idea. But just like Brett Kavanaugh, this smearing of people has got to stop. If he's guilty, charge him. Make sure he has a fair trial and let the chips fall where they may. But they won't charge. They're not charging because they know that the people who are including the women, they know that they are not trustworthy. If the DOJ, this is the, guy, the biggest opponent of the DOJ. He's got real teeth on the DOJ. So all of a sudden the DOJ finds these uh, accusations. Okay, all right, maybe he did them. Then investigate. And if you don't have enough to charge him, then you shut your mouth. Now, you might continue to investigate, but you shut your mouth. When you have enough to charge, then charge. We're not a country that should allow for another day the smearing of individuals based on stuff that is not chargeable. They've made this guy practically into a pedophile. What, 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 uh, where do you go to get your reputation back? Because if they can do it to him, they'll do it to you. Now, he may not be, I don't think he is a saint. I think he's a long way away from a saint. But I don't know who to believe. That's for a jury to decide. But once somebody is charged, not investigated, charged, if this, the Democrats or some of the sleazy Republicans decide to release this, all of those people should either be impeached or we should primary them. Because this kind of stuff has got to stop. Does it mean we let some bad guys get away? Yes. But wouldn't you rather have one bad guy get away than one good person get smeared and their life destroyed? That is justice.